Lord your healer. Part 4. I am the Lord your healer. Part number 4. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Let's open Exodus 15. Exodus 15. 
First Corinthians 1 verses 9. Look at what the Bible says. First Corinthians chapter 1 verses 9. First Corinthians 1 verses 9. The Bible says this. God is faithful. Hallelujah. By whom you were called unto the fellowship of his son Jesus Christ our Lord. So you've been called to a fellowship. Before you can answer any other calling, you must answer this call. The call to fellowship. Many people, they want God to show them about their visions. They want God to show them about their career, about their business. But how will it happen when you answer the call to fellowship? Amen. Fellowship means relationship. So, or sharing, or communion. Hallelujah. So the Lord is calling you to a koinonia. Koinonia means intimacy. You need to answer this call called koinonia. K O I A O N I A. Koinonia. The intimacy part. Because if you don't have a relationship with God, it will be difficult for you to see the power of God. Though you are a child of God, koinonia. Intimacy with God. That's why it says you've been called to a fellowship of His Son Jesus. Say, I'm called to a fellowship with Jesus. Jesus has got ideas about how to come out of your healing. He has ideas about your business. But you must come to the fellowship. Many people are too lazy. Many people are fellowship with the television 24-7. But they can never fellowship with the Son of God. That's why many are sick. That's why many are, are oppressed. That's why men are depressed because they don't have a relationship with the Son of God. He's inside of you. He's with you. But you know him. Hallelujah. I said, you know him. Hallelujah. You must first answer the call to fellowship. If you are to experience the I am. The I am that I am. Hallelujah. And in the fellowship, you discover who he is. And you will know him personally. Hallelujah. God is looking for people that are going to know him personally. I say personally. In the name of Jesus. You need to know God personally. Praise God. I say praise God. In fellowship with the Son of God, we get wisdom. In fellowship with the Son of God, we get wisdom. Hallelujah. And this wisdom is what shows us the way out of problems. The way out of diseases. I told you on Sunday how God was taking me out of sickness from face to face. That's the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. But it comes through intimacy. It comes through koinonia. Hallelujah. It comes through you having a fellowship with the Son of God. That's why on a daily basis you must have an and a relationship with Jesus on a daily basis. As on a daily basis, fellowship with the Son of God. Hallelujah. So in that fellowship, you get wisdom. And wisdom is the know-how. And wisdom is the way out. For you to come out of the problem, you need wisdom. That wisdom is contactable at the place of fellowship. At the place of coinology. Hallelujah. I pray for you. May you develop a relationship with the name of Jesus. You need to develop a personal relationship with God. Many people don't know God. And how can you know God? By spending time in the Word of God. Hallelujah. So in the place of fellowship, we encounter wisdom. And wisdom shows you the way out. Look at Ecclesiastes 10.15. Ecclesiastes just after Proverbs. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 10 15. Look at this. Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 10 15. 10 verses 15. The Bible says this. Chapter 10 verses 15. The leper 
of the foolish wearies him. Now, do you see that? This is a man who's trying to get healing by mechanics. Or using, using some mechanical confessions or something without an understanding of the relationship first. The leper of a foolish man. Why is he foolish? He has no relationship. Hallelujah. When you have a relationship, you can never be foolish. You become wise. Hallelujah. The labor of a foolish man will receive. Why? Because he does not know how to go to the city. Do you see that? If you don't know how to, go, to come out of sickness, you die there. But if you are fellowshipping with the healer who knows the way out, you come out in the name of Jesus. The way out of every disease is spending time with God. The way out of challenges is spending time with God on a personal level. Say with me, personal level. You need to have a personal commitment to know your God. I'm telling you the truth. Because there are places only you and God can go. There are places only you can reach out to your God. Hallelujah. But you need to know Him. When you are told that this, this disease is going to kill you in the next three weeks, if you don't know God, you're going to be, you're going to freak out. <laughs> but when you know Him, you reach out to Him. Hallelujah! Through koinonia, and God is going to tell the wisdom out in the name of Jesus. And if you contact His wisdom, you can never fear because you know the way out. It says the level of the foolish man very soon because he doesn't want to go out. Of the city. I pray for you. May you fellowship with God. I say, may fellowship with God. In the name of Jesus. God wants you to know Him. And God wants to share with you some wisdom. But this will come through a relationship. Hallelujah. And when you have a strong relationship with God, you are going to have a strong faith. Do you know why strong faith is going to be there? Because you are constantly hearing from God. Constantly hearing from God. Hallelujah. That's how you're going to get strong faith. Amen. It's through this relationship. That's why he said, if you shall hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord your God, your God, that's the relationship, personal relationship, hallelujah. Personal relationship with God. Look at first, second chip of one, two. What, what Paul said? Second chip of one, verses two. Second chip of chapter one, verses two. Paul said something very powerful. Look at this. Second chip of Chapter 1, verse 4. He said this. For the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know, I know whom I have what? Believed. And I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that thing. So he didn't say, I know what I believe. He said, I know who. That means, I know a person. Hallelujah. Amen. My question is this. Do you know this person of God? Hallelujah. You can never say I know God until you begin to spend time with him. Amen. And no one can do this for you. You are responsible to spend time with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Say I'm responsible. Amen. You are responsible to spend time with God. That's what I say. Read your chapter. I mean, I have read uh, uh, almost three. You are done with it. Oh, praise God. I must have to pray today. Huh? It is true that you encounter a personal relationship with God. Hallelujah. He says, I know in whom I believe. Many people, they don't know the God they believe. People, they talk. God is powerful. I love God. I trust God. When they are trying to ask, they say, I don't know why God is real. I don't know if God exists. Do you know why? They don't know God. Hallelujah. If you know God, you are going to stand firm in the name of Jesus. If you know God, you are going to become bold. Hallelujah. I will know if you know God when I try the most. If you are going to say God is faithful, God is good. Hallelujah. In the time when things look very complicated, then I know you know Him. You can say God is good and everything is going okay. You can say God is powerful when man is in the pocket. You can say when everything is okay, somebody can say, let's trust God. Hallelujah. But I want to hear you say, let us trust God when 
things look bad. That's when I know you know him. Hallelujah. And when you know God in that dimension, he will give you wisdom. Hallelujah. You come out of problems in the name of Jesus. Because I know him. Paul says, I know him. I believe it. It's a person. Hallelujah. And Abraham knew God personally. You need to know God personally. I said personally. In your back you can talk to God. Hallelujah. In your pajama and your bed, you can talk to God. Hallelujah. You can't to know God personally. Personally. I said personally. That's what Romans 4.1. Ah, the Bible says, and be fully persuaded that what he, God, had promised. So Abraham trusted God that God was able to perform. Do you know why? Abraham knew God personally. So you must know God personally. Personally. Hallelujah. You need to know God personally. Personally. I said personally. In the name of Jesus. Personally. Personally. You know God personally. I said you know God personally. In the name of Jesus. When God becomes your God, He will also become your healer. Amen. Because you know Him personally. He will become your healer. Hallelujah. And when you receive Him as the healer, He will manifest Himself in your life as the healer. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Lord is your healer in the name of Jesus. I say, He's your healer in the name of Jesus. You are destined to walk in total health. When you make up your mind to serve God, you are destined to walk in total health. Hallelujah. You are destined. I'm destined. It's like I'm destined. So, but you see, this has to come from the relationship. Look at Exodus 23, 25, and 26. You are destined to walk in total health. Exodus. 23 and 25 and 26. The number of your days are fulfilled. Amen. 
You won't die in the name of Jesus. I said, you won't die young in the name of Jesus. The number of your days. That means anything that you want to take your life and cut your life short, God says, I'll, I'll take care of it. Amen. Because I must fulfill the number of your days. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And then in Psalms 91, he says this. With long life, we like to satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hallelujah. So God says, the number of your days are fulfilled. And he says, long life are satisfied. Hallelujah. Yeah. So there's no way you can die out. Hallelujah. Yeah. When you carry this mentality, no matter what attacks you, you don't say, you stop dying young in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Do you know what long life means? The Lord says, the number of your days shall be 120. 120. 120. 120. May you experience this in the name of Jesus. Amen. But you have to see the revelation. God says with long life. So when you are attacked, you don't see yourself dying. Why? With long life. Amen. I'll satisfy you. Amen. I'll show you my salvation. Amen. It's a promise. It's a covenant of long life. Genesis 6 3 says, The number of your days shall be 120. Shall be 120. This God himself has said that. The number of your days shall be 120. 120. 120. Hallelujah. Now, can you see where God is reminding you this so that you can resist to live? To live, yet to die and die. Amen. Don't begin to plan your will. Even if they diagnose the disease that is dangerous, don't begin to write your will. Because God said it's not that. Hallelujah. Ask yourself, is 50 law? Is it this the law? What is wrong like? 120. Hallelujah. Believe God for that. I said, believe God for that. But you see, they are connected with you walking in the perfect will of God. Amen. If you walk in the perfect will of God, of God for your life, you are going to experience perfect your life. Amen. And that involves your own life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So I must expect to live long. Amen. So it means I will live long. Those who ask and say, I will live long. Second, I will live long. I shall not die young. In the name of Jesus. Second, live long life. The Lord will satisfy me. That's fine. The Lord. Do you believe it? Amen. Do you believe it? Amen. Do you believe it? Amen. Do you have energy for it? Yes. Can you reach out for it? Yes. Is it yours? Yes. Receive it then in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive it in your heart and your mind that long life is a portion. <laughs> that is why you have the healer because he has promised you long life. So in case because of the case in the nature or either by the devil whatever that comes against you you have a healer in the name of Jesus Amen. it's going to make sure that it comes out of the world Amen. Amen. praise God Amen. I say praise God Amen. now listen to this he says with long life I'll satisfy you and show you my salvation now can you see that word salvation Remember, I told you healing and salvation go together. Hallelujah. Amen. So God is saying, I'll show you how I heal. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll show you how I prosper. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll show you how I protect. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll show you how I deliver. So in that word, salvation, there is everything. Your healing, your prosperity, your protection, your deliverance. Hallelujah. Amen. Your favor has come. Amen. Everything is in that. So if you say, I am saved, you are saying everything. I'm blessed. I'm prosperous. I'm healed. I'm protected. Everything is right there in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Second, I'm blessed. Second, I'm favored. I'm favored. I am healed. I am, healed. I am prosperous. I'm you need to believe this. Even if you don't see it now, but see it face in your heart and your mind, it must become real in the name of Jesus. Amen. Spirit is in your heart and your mind. 
start to experience it in the body. Amen. And your pocket, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So we must establish the fact that God will forgive you and God will heal you. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are forgiven. Second, I'm healed. Amen. So Jesus, remember, he said, which one is easier? So they are both easier. Hallelujah. Amen. And we know from Psalm 103, he says, Bless the Lord. Do you have sickness? No. Do you 
you have sickness? Do you have sickness? Do you have sickness? Do you have sickness? What does that mean? Sickness. We took it. He took it. I say he took it. Amen. Now, this is, a, this is a consciousness. You have to go to it personal from the word of God. And you act like that and respond from that revelation. Amen. He has taken your sicknesses. Amen. Who took it? Jesus. Who took it? Jesus. Who took it? Jesus. Are you promised? Yes. He took all your sickness. Yes. All of your children. He took them. Are you convinced? Amen. Are you convinced? Yes. You write an example. <laughs> you write an exam. The devil wants to prove to you that are you sure? But prove to him that you are convinced in the name of Jesus. I said, prove to him, hallelujah. And when he sees that you are proving, you prove it. Then he has lost the battle. And nobody is in the body in the name of Jesus. He took. Close your eyes, say louder. So it means he took. My sicknesses, my sickness. and diseases, yes. and pains. Say yes. again, you do. You do. My sicknesses, yes. my diseases, and my pains. He took it. He took it. Amen. So I will just go say this in the morning. He took it. Amen. Say, how are you? He took it. Good morning. He took it. Hallelujah. I thought you are good with what God says. I'm a mother who says, 
said it. The man who said it. No. God said you are healed. By stripes you are I have got headaches. Where did they come from? God says you are healed. Those are symptoms. Cast them out in the name of Jesus. And resist them in the name of Jesus. And take your healing. Hallelujah. Now, this is the dimension where you can go to the and no more disease in the body. Things to attack may try to come, but you say, no, I'm healed. If you are healed, then behave it, then act it, then appear it. Hallelujah. But if you go that blanket, I'm going to shiver. You're not appearing it. I pray for you. May you see the place in the name of Jesus. These stripes, you are. If I am healed, do I need to ask the healer to heal me? No. Those, that's, that, those are the children in the Lord. When you mature, the devil begins to fear from afar. The moment he sends an attack, he says, Lord, you're not coming because I'm the healed. And you mean business. It will go. Why? You are now established in the fact that you are healed. Amen. Now, you're no longer a baby. You are now a son. Hallelujah. Amen. And sons don't pay their father. Sons take what they are writing to their yes. And then the father now begins to be rejoicing. Hallelujah. Amen. I took this place for already. So, how many times you don't have to ask me? I took it. Amen. This place is filled up already in the name of Jesus. Amen. People are packed all over in the name of Jesus. Amen. We took it. It is done. Amen. Can you talk rich when your shoe is open up like this? That's when you must prove that it is real to you. Amen. When you talk, they are speakable, they are talkable. When you don't look it, that's when you talk it. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the proof they must enter the spirit. Can you see convoys? I said, can you see convoys? Yes. That's what I'm preaching like I'm preaching to 10,000. Because I see them in the name of Jesus. I see them all over. Hallelujah. So you have to be calm in faces. Yes. Your house is your bed. Because your bed doesn't spread this. Your house is your bed. Your healing is in your belly, hallelujah. Amen. People are in our bellies, hallelujah. Amen. Man is in our bellies, hallelujah. Amen. Somebody that's what is your, your end. Point them here. See? Amen. It is in the spirit. Yes. Praise God. Amen. It's a praise God. Matthew 18, 16, 17. 
you are about to shout, there's something I'm, 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 I'm about to go to. Then I go to cross. Matthew 8, 16, 17. Matthew 8. I'm telling you the truth right now. This is how you get healed. This is how you get the dosages. Your faith is coming for healing. How many have seen that your faith for healing has come the notch? Since you began the teaching. Because as you are hearing more, your healing, your faith for healing is coming. Right? That's how that's how you get there. Amen. That's how you get there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Still, when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with demons or devils. And he cast out the spirits with his way and healed all that was sick. How many did he heal? Oh. How many? Oh. How many? Oh. Is this to heal it to the all? Yes. Oh, yes. And right now, he healed them all. There was no unlucky one. He healed them all. 17. Look at this. That it might be fulfilled. You see now, he's quoting Isaiah. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah. Do you see he's quoting Isaiah 53? There's a spoke. Do you see that? Amen. The prophet said what? Himself did what? Two our what? Infirmities. And bear our what? Sicknesses. So do you see? In case you never got it in Isaiah, Matthew is telling you, he took your sicknesses. And he took all your sicknesses. Hallelujah. That's what I pray for you. Anything weak in your body is being restored in the name of Jesus. He took your weaknesses and bear your sicknesses. He took. Every time something attacked me, I said, no, 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 he took. No, he took. No, 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 he took. I can't have that. No, he took. I can't have He took. He took, he took, he took in my room. He took, I can, he took. Jesus took. Do you know? I'm convinced Jesus will rebuke the devil. He says, I took. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't see how it happens. Your part is stay in your faith that he took. Amen. But how to live is not your part, it is his part. He rebuked it because you are confirming what he told you he took. Amen. Just as I told you, you don't forgive yourself. He forgives you. Amen. So you don't heal yourself. He heals you. Amen. Your part is believe. Yes. He took it. Hallelujah. Hey, 
Praise God. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. And let us run with what? The patience. Now do you start with, with what? Patience. The race that is before us. So how are you going to run this race? By, by patience, of course. By faith and what? Patience. Do you see this evil stuff? 
People speak against the man of God. They never started here. They spoke against Moses. They said, the man took the mantle. They said, the They saw miracles. But they spoke against what? Moses. Against who? Look at this. Wherefore have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul loves this like bread. So we are tired of this manna. <laughs> People are unthankful. You were in Egypt, they are beating you. You are working like animals, and you are eating just little. Now you are free, you are eating manna for free. As 
you are saying it to you are allowing his power to flow into you. It took. That's why when I say stay on the word of God, you are looking at him. But as you are looking at him, he flows into you. Praise God. I say praise God. So do you see why you need to focus yourself on Jesus? The author and the finisher of it.
May his peace go with you. May his presence go with you. I cast on evil in your life in the name of Jesus. No evil thought against you shall prosper. You are blessed. You are covered. May doors open for you in the name of Jesus. May doors